So I'm in my living room with my pajamas. I'm chilling, got a controller in my hand, playing one of my most favorite games of all time, Minecraft. I'm going through the survival world, killing these, killing the ender dragon. I'm in the end, I'm doing all this, I'm doing all this. I've formulated an entire plan to kill the dragon, to destroy all the end crystals. Jesus Christ, I know so much about this game. I formulated an entire plan. Destroy the end crystals, destroy each one, kill the endermen that are around me, place water buckets, do all this, do all that, kill the ender dragon. I'm so focused, I'm so into the game that my grandma starts yelling for my name. Alex, 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 Alex. I'm like, what happened, what happened? I go downstairs, go into the kitchen, and she says, oh, could you put on the news for me? And I'm like, okay, you, seriously, you, you called me for my beautiful dragon game, my beautiful dragon boss fight. You called me for this. I didn't actually say that though. <laughs> it's a night didn't trust. I didn't say that. So I find the remote, put on a TV, and the first thing that comes up is deadly shooting at 35th Avenue in Northern. My, my grandma sees it and she goes, oh, 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 oh my God, oh, oh, what? Deadly shoot, what? She gets so loud, so ecstatic. She drops everything she was doing. She had, she was at the kitchen and there were, you know how there's like two sinks, right? Yeah, most kitchens, right? She was washing some dishes. She drops them right back into the sink and comes forward towards the TV. She gets closer and closer, closer and closer towards the TV, reads out the headlines. Oh, six people killed in mass shooting. Oh, she gets so worried, so anxious, so, oh. And then she starts telling me, Alex, my son, please do not go outside more. Do not go outside more. There's so much evil and hatred and pain and destructive and negativity in the entire world. Please do not go outside more. And I hear this and I'm like, okay. I run it back upstairs. I go back to my game. Simple as that. The main thing that I can take away from this whole story was how anxious and how shit my grandma felt she did not go back to just doing the dishes with a calm mindset with a kind mindset of ah doing my dishes enjoying myself i can guarantee you this for sure she was so much more peaceful when the house was quiet when there was no tv on than when she was when i put on the goddamn news and all that showed up immediately was just the negative bullshit so here's something that i want you to understand i want you to like get through your mind Stop watching the news. Stop. Just stop. Your mind, your brain, you, you probably realize this, maybe you do. Your brain is so much more hooked to anything that is negative, to anything that's bad. You realize this, right? You, maybe you understand this. Maybe you've actually been a little bit more mindful and you understand that like, yeah, my brain does get more attracted to the things that are bad because that's how evolutionary shit works. In the old days, like the old, old days, our brains had to be adaptive. Our brains had to understand what was bad and what was good. Because around us was all shit. So right now, the modern world, the media, like the companies of today, they have like taken real good advances of that. And everywhere you see, it's just breaking news, it's just negative news, it's just bad news. I want you to like really think about this right now. What do you think the mental state, like the mental it's like the mental, I don't know, <laughs> the plane of reality someone has before they look at something that says breaking news. They look at something that says, oh, mass shooting. I want you to think about how calm that person would be. Let's say your father. Let's say your father and before he watches anything on the news, before he puts on the TV and the first thing he sees on the news, before, before he does any of that, I want you to think about your father in such like a calm lighting. Smiling about motherfuckers that don't have fat, that don't have dads, <laughs> and I want you to just think about think about it right now. What's gonna happen when he comes across that headline that says breaking news? What's gonna happen to that mental state? What's gonna happen to the way he's feeling? It's all gonna go to shit immediately. He's just gonna feel so much more distracted because his brain's gonna be processing how fucking negative and how horrible the shit is. And just from his brain processing it, his beliefs will change. And when his beliefs change, then his actions will change. And before you know it, he's already telling you, don't do this, don't do that, don't do all that. 
he's telling you to do all these things because he's just seen a headline on the news. Now, I know you're probably hearing me say all this. You know, I, I know you're probably hearing me say, don't watch the news. And you're probably thinking, AJ, you're like, what? Like a little kid. What, what are you talking about? Besides, I need to know about the news because you're, you, you, I'd be so ignorant. In this case, good. Quite frankly, I want you to be ignorant. Do you have any clue how much information is out there? Bro, everyone in the world is suffering from a thing known as, I would say content consumption, but not just that, information overload. Bro, scroll down on this video. There's another video. Scroll down on that video, another video, another video, another video. There is information for ever that you can find on the internet. Literally, it goes for miles. So what I want you to do is to do this thing known as mindful consumption, to be more aware of the things that you watch. Because, bro, I... <sighs> about a few days ago, Monday, um, me and my sister were in the kitchen and she sat there on the table with her big ass iPad. Little sister, like what, 10 years old. She sat there on the on her iPad. She's got like braids. She's got braids. She sat there on the iPad. She's just watching some stuff. And then she looks over to me and she goes, Alex, did you know that fucking Saturn has five rings? And I'm like, no. She's like, did you know Pluto used to be this like this? And she's like, did you know there was a country in Afghanistan? <laughs> I don't even know. She started rambling about me about all these facts. And I'm thinking like, hang on a second. You didn't learn this in school. No, no. If you did learn this in school, you wouldn't have remembered it. So where did you learn this? And she goes, oh, I just found it. And I'm like, okay, here, take my phone for a second. I put on a video for her to watch, for her to be distracted. I put on the video. I take away the iPad just for a second. Sit down on the table next to her. Go to her watch history on YouTube. 4,932 shorts watched today. Four thousand, a, a number over four thousand shorts watched today. My sister, right after that, looked at me and said, "Skippy the toilet." What the fuck does any of that mean? I really want you to like understand the severity of this, bro. There is so much information out there. You need to be more mindful of the things that you're consuming. That, that's like the whole point of the entire video. Be more mindful of what you're watching because I promise you, when you let all this information overtake your mind, all of a sudden, the only thing you can think of are negative bullshit. Just negative, random thoughts that don't really help you in life. I just got a thought in my mind. Twitter. If you use Twitter, I don't like you. I don't care who you are. If you use Twitter, I just... I dislike you just a little bit what the fuck are you on that platform for bro yeah i, I think it's worse than tiktok <laughs> i think twitter like I, twitter's up here in terms of like being shit tiktok is right here i haven't even spoken about how fucking horrible tiktok is yet but i will soon twitter is genuinely just as worse just worse because on that platform all you see it's just the negative arguments. It's just people that have that think they have such high IQs speaking about, <laughs> bro. As I talk right now, as I speak these words, I'm thinking of uh, the Wojak with his brain so fucking big. You know that meme, the the fucking Wojak with his brain so high up here, whilst he's typing. He's got glasses on. He's like, hmm, I'm, a, I'm such an indi I'm such a smart individual. I'm thinking, bro, no, you're not. Everyone on Twitter thinks they're so smart. Everyone on Twitter, Twitter has all these arguments. It doesn't matter. It dead ass does not matter. You won't see these type of people outside. Well, sometimes. When you go for your morning walk, when you go for your evening walk, when you go for your noon walk, when you go for a walk in general, you're not gonna come across the blue haired feminist that spends way too much time online and all she can speak about are the politics and the bullshit things. Bro, the last time I watched the news, I remember seeing something about Trump being impeached. Mainly, I remember seeing something about Trump being impeached. And I, I still had no fucking clue what that meant. My mom was getting so, like, so ecstatic about it. I, 
I don't know. That ass, I don't know. I know you're probably thinking, but AJ, you're so ignorant. You don't know shit about the world. Okay. What's that going to do for me, huh? What's it going to do for me to be aware of government changes in fucking, God, I don't know, Hong Kong? What's that going to do me? At the, at, at the very least, I may as well be grateful. Grateful that my conditions are much better than that. That's the only thing you can do. Oh, but AJ, you got to be worried about the, the other kids that are there in, like, I don't know, West, West Ger Germany. You got to be worried about the kids in Africa. Why should I be worried about them? What will that do to my mental health to stay worried about them? At the very least, I can be grateful for the situation I'm in right now. What good would it do me to be frantically worried about situations that are happening all over the world when quite frankly, the only thing that's gonna matter to me right now, the only thing that's gonna affect my life right now is who I am today and what I do tomorrow. What the hell is worrying about other parts of the world going to do to me? Nothing. I've seen this so many times that like people had the main reason why so many people have such shit mental health these days is because of information overload, constant consumption. I'm telling you right now, bro, detox yourself away from all the information. You will feel so much happier. Quit getting stuff into your mind. Just stop. Start letting things from your, actually, you know, I, mean, I was about to go somewhere, but like, I kind of lost up there. You really want to call me ignorant for, for not watching the news? I have way more mental, I have, you and I, hopefully you're not calling me ignorant for not watching the news. You and I will have so much, much better like levels of mental health. Composed, composed, compared to the motherfucker that just spends all his days on Twitter, Twitter.com, in his couch watching the news, learning about everything that's happening around the world. Because, because that's so helpful. That's really going to change your life. God damn. Oh, the second thing, too. Where did I get the second bracelet from? Huh. Second thing, too. I think... I learned, oh, no, 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 I found something else too about Hamas. Oh, I'm out. Oh, about to get into some like real controversial shit. YouTube, don't ban me. No, I'm just kidding. Who cares? I learned more about that. And I kept seeing people in YouTube comments be like, fight for Palestinian, fight for this, fight for that, fight for that. And I'm just thinking to myself, how much does it like, how much does it impact your life to be a part of this movement online? Are you donating your money there? Like genuinely, are you donating fucking thousands, millions, billions of dollars over to that country to help them? You're not. So what good does it do to just start worrying about it? What good does it do to have this, this thought be plaguing your mind about a situation in another world that you can't do anything about? Bro, that is stress. Stress is, I'm gonna try to like define it here. Stress is worrying about a situation that you don't have control over. Because if you did have control over it, your level of stress would go down because well, you can control it, right? <laughs> that just makes sense. If the TV's doing some random shit and you have a remote controller, all you need to do is just press the button. Now, if you didn't have the remote control, you didn't have the remote, and the TV starts doing some weird shit, starts playing a weird sound, okay, that would be a good reason to get stressed. Because at that point, the only thing you can do is find the remote. <laughs> But yeah, in general, bro, be mindful of the content that you consume. You and I, hopefully you've been meditating for a while. You and I, when we, let's say we're in public and we're just walking down the, down the town, we're walking on the sidewalk and we come across these newspapers. We look to our sides and on top of the newspaper, it says breaking news. You and I, when we look at that newspaper, we're just going to be like, okay, and just look back and just keep on walking. But the average person, the average motherfucker, most likely, let's say your father or your mother, they're gonna be walking down that exact same sidewalk, see that newspaper that says breaking news, and they just won't help. They cannot help themselves, but to grab it and to just keep on reading, to just keep staying informed, to keep knowing, just keep, keep, keep consuming. What's this gonna do to their mental health? What is that going to do to their mental clarity? 
Fuck it up, obviously. When you stay mindful, when you understand the content that you're consuming, when you are like visually, like mentally aware of the things that you consume, your mental health literally skyrockets. As composed to the other guy that just sees the the breaking news, sees the negative stuff, and his his um amygdala, lizard brain, is just turned on immediately. His monkey brain snaps, and all he can and all he can do is just help to follow that forefront image. Meditation takes that monkey brain and gives it like a good five seconds before it activates, and controls it. Literally stops it. So what would turn on your monkey brain? Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm like I'm about to get into like a real side tangent. But quite frankly, bro, be aware of the things you consume. That's mainly it. Be aware of the things that you watch. Be aware of the things that are influencing you at such a low level. You got that? Of course you do. Three links in the description. You know what to do.